Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset or factory restore your computer back to a blank slate for your Windows 10 device. This should work for all major manufacturers of the Windows 10 operating system. So if you're running Dell, HP, Acer, Asus, it should all work for you. So we're going to jump right into it. We're going to start by opening up the star menu. And you either want to left click on the little settings icon on the left, which appears the little gear icon, or you can just type in settings into the star menu, whichever you prefer. And now once you're on a screen that looks like this, you want to scroll down until you get to the update and security tile, and just left click on that one time. Now on the left side here, left click on the recovery tab. And now let's shift our attention to the right underneath recovery, where it says reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall Windows. Left click on Get Started. So underneath Choose an Option, you have two options here, Keep My Files or Remove Everything. Keep Your Files is still going to remove programs and applications but keeps your personal files. Remove Everything basically will do a clean wipe and just reinstall the Windows 10 operating system. In either case, I would still recommend backing up any of your personal files or documents to an external medium. So like a USB flash drive, CD, DVD, the usual, doesn't really even matter, but just I'd recommend creating a backup of them nonetheless. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to do a clean wipe. I'm going to select remove everything. And depending on what selection you make, you're going to get different prompts later on. As you can see, do you want to clean the drives too? two options here as well just remove my files and then also remove files and clean the drive the second option here basically if you're going to be donating your device and you want to do more of a clean wipe or if you're going to be passing it on to another person another group I would recommend selecting the second option here it takes a little bit longer but probably more worth it and if you really are not concerned about privacy and you're going to just be using your computer again I'd recommend just selecting the first option here an added bonus is it will be a little quicker and we should get one final prompt here before we are going to commit to this and again we're going to be removing all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs as well as any changes made to settings this will take a while and your PC will restart left click on the reset button the time it takes will depend on your computer specifications how fast your computer is the usual it really is on a case by case basis but just give some time for this to run be patient, and once we get to another prompt, I will be back.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, so it looks like we are back after our factory reset. You should be pretty much good to go from here. If you want to bring back your programs and documents, you're more than welcome to. And once you have your computer set up how you like it, I would recommend creating a system restore point. And honestly, that should be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.